Jackson, and uh, wow, you have a good voice. Oh, thank you. You have an amazing voice. Thank you. You know, a lot of, a lot of people right now are not singing, and we, we were listening to you in rehearsal, and your voice is so amazing. I mean, we don't have people on our, our show that don't sing, but there are people, as you know, that right. aren't singing now. Uh, Thank you. And you have an incredible oh, voice. That's a very so, nice way to put it. That was yeah. very touchfully put. Yeah, well. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, but, and congratulations on a Grammy. Thank th you. A nomination. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm now, excited. Where were you when you found out? Um, actually, yesterday I was on the radio. I was on the radio with a, a um, this, to see, I'm already excited. I'm losing my words. See, yeah. I'm so excited. You should be excited. Yeah, I'm a dork. Okay. But, um, I was on, I was on a radio interview and my, my manager looked at me and she was like, she was like, you got nominated for a Grammy. And on on the, no kidding, in the interview, I was like, what? Like, yeah. on the interview, they were yeah. like, what kind of, does she not do interviews? Does right. she not know what she's doing? Cars are so, crashing on the yeah. freeway. They're like, what's going yeah. on? So it was actually cool. They got it documented and everything. Oh, that's so that's kind of cool. That's great. Yeah. Now, um, so, and because all this attention, I mean, obviously you've been singing for a long time. Right. But American Idol is what got you all the Started, attention. Started, yeah. What were you doing before American Idol? Um, God. Waitressing as a telemarketer for a little bit, mm -hmm. which is a fun job. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't the mean kind we, of telemarketer. We've gone from hating you to loving you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. But I wasn't the bad telemarketer. I was giving away free stuff. Uh -huh. So that, well, and then technically once you got them into the comedy, because I was a cocktail waitress at a comedy club. Oh, really? And then, yeah. And so, yeah. Where? And um, Hyenas, it used to be called the Funny Bone mm. in Texas. Hyenas. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I was a telemarketer for them to get people to come in. Uh -huh. So it was actually free tickets, but the catch was is it's a two drink minimum. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So we were kind of evil, kind of getting them right. in there, and then they had to spend money. Well, that's, that's so. how they, they get you. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hey, I have a dance move. Can I show you my dance move? I would love to see it. I was it. seeing yeah. Katie Couric getting the shoulders. Okay, y'all know the lawnmower? Do y'all know that one? No. Oh, okay, this is the lawnmower. Okay, this is the lawnmower. Okay, you push, and then you go, oh, wipe the sweat. Wipe the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just lost my entire fan base. Yeah. <laughs> This, this, is, this is a lawnmower too, but it's the riding lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. see, I was poor, so we had yeah. to push. Yeah. We had to push. Yeah, I used, yeah. To, I used to have that thing too. And also the ones that aren't motor at all, it's just, uh, it's just the... Oh, the spinny thing. Those things never work well. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's yeah. ghetto. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I was. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> And it's hard to sharpen those things too. They, they, <laughs> they never really, them? yeah. Oh. And it just pushes the grass down. It bends it over, sort of. That doesn't really work. No, then. it flattens no. it out like crop circles. <laughs> um, so, so now you're uh, you're going on to do this world idol contest now. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing this big world idol thing. Um, it's basically like American Idol, but on a bigger scale. And, um, and who's just, who's all? Uh, who actually, are the people? It's like, it's like 11 different countries actually participating. I've met three other ones mm -hmm. from the other countries. Because actually, I don't think everybody knows this, but <clears throat> excuse me, I talk too fast and I don't ever breathe. And um, <laughs> anyway, so um, actually, um, it's a huge success in every country. It's like number one show everywhere. It's I, I bet it's fascinating. I to know, watch. but I didn't know that. And mm -hmm. then so when I started traveling, they were like, oh, yeah, we have ours. And I was like, what? So you're going to compete against the other countries yeah. and it's uh, Christmas Day? Yeah, I believe it's I believe it's Aaron Christmas Day. And it's like a two-part thing, so it's that. And then um, the, the other show is whenever they announce the results and everything. Right. But it's not so much about winning. No. It's more about, you know, it's world kind of, everybody's getting to see you on a world Everybody gets scale. to see, and you're starting a world tour, right? Yes, All yes. right, well, then people will see you, and, yeah. and, and congratulations. Thank Good luck you. to you. You can log on to our website to buy a copy of Kelly's new CD, Thankful. Uh, we'll be right back. We're back with Kelly Clarkson. And uh, so you're back from a, a sold out tour with, uh, with that Clay Aiken fella. Yes. How, yeah, how was that? Him. No, it was fun. It was fun. He's a goober. I actually had dinner with him like, last night. Uh -huh. He is. You have no idea. And but by goober, you mean? Goober. Like, I mean, nobody knows his personality, but he is hilarious. He's yeah. like smart, witty, funny. Like, uh -huh. he's just really. And yeah. you traveled together on a bus? Yeah, we shared the, the same bus just because we were, you know, we're mm -hmm. both pretty anti-diva. So we, yeah, but it was kind of hard because at points I would be like falling asleep and then he'd just be like, Kelly, and just start waking me up because he was awake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not nice. It's hard to sleep on a bus anyway, don't you find? Not for me. I love the enclosed. I don't know if I'm like some kind of vampire. I love the enclosed space and like just dark. And it is. It's like yeah. a, a, it's a, like a, a, a curtain that closes yeah. and you're just laying down like the luge. You're just yeah. traveling <laughs> down the road. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, and, and what, why is he a goober? Like, what kind of things is he? Oh, God. He, well, he's allergic to everything. Like, all his fans know that by now. But yeah, he's allergic to everything air, like, 
Air. Nuts. Wait, wait. <laughs> he is. I'm allergic promise. to air. <laughs> no, shellfish. I can, hold on, let's go do it. He'll yell at me if I don't memorize it. It's like shellfish, mushrooms, um, nuts that grow on trees. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, and then you have to take a course, because I rode with him on the same bus. And anytime you're near him, you have to know that you have to, like, shove this needle in his thigh. If anybody touches him with, like, that has touched nuts or anything, it's horrible. <laughs> Who walks around touching nuts? Who walks around with that kind of thing? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> there's, there's no transition, but um, you, and you got a little puppy. Did you bring the puppy? Because he has a puppy, oh, right? He, that's why I got my puppy. Did in he that. bring a puppy on he the He had Raleigh. On, yeah, that's on his, his dog. Bus. Which now is fat. His dog is fat. Yeah. He feeds it too much. Uh huh. But mine is little and cute. What, and what is bought, yours? A uh, little tiny Yorkshire Terrier. Uh huh. Emma. Her Thanks. name is Emma. She's so cute. And how old is Emma? Um, she's like, oh, what'd you say, nine months? Nine, well, my friend's here. Are you sorry. asking the audience? Oh, sorry. No, my friend's here, and she's uh -huh. actually the one who's helping me. I'm having a bit of a potty train turning problem. Yeah, she puts the dog is everywhere. not you. You're fine. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, not me. Okay. I'm learning everything wrong today. So, so the the dog is not potty trained at nine months. No, isn't that off? I know, but okay. At least I have it's a, a small dog. dog. Like, how am I supposed to like potty train it when I'm gone? I'm at the studio, and you can't take a dog that poops and pees everywhere at the studio. Like, pee uh -huh. all over their studio. You know, like, hey, I'm just making my place. Yeah. My mark. Um, well, so so the dog is tiny, so that's not a big problem, but they, it should be potty trained for sure by it, now. It should be. So, it should be. I know. And they told me, because you thought I'd have some kind of advice for you since I've had dogs, and I, I don't have. But what I do have <laughs> is um, little uh, little diapers for the doggy, um, little Ellen underwear, oh my and God. The, you just put it on the doggy. And then if it pees, it doesn't really matter. Did you like have these made? Like, yes. How they... Little little diapers for your doggy. And oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in there. But so... isn't that kind of nasty? Then they just like walk around in it. But I guess they won't well, do it then until you take them out. Well, I wear them. I don't mind. Well, I... <laughs> what? I mean. All right. No, I, Thank and I, you. I, I do have some information for you because you should be able to potty train I your dog. I know. I'm horrible at it. Yeah. No, it's it, it, it'll be better for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Then you don't step on it in the morning. You're like, ooh, presents. Yeah. No, that's not good at all. No. No. All right. Uh, the uh, the dog will be fine. I yes. promise you. You can log on to our website to purchase a copy of the Princess Diaries 2 soundtrack. Everybody in the audience is getting a copy today. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Thanks to my guests, Noel Wiley and Kelly Clarkson. Tomorrow, Reese Witherspoon and Brandy will be here. Uh, this is where we would usually do the big finish, but finish seems so final, and a lot of those finishes just weren't that big, let's be honest. <laughs> so, we're gonna go into season two with a fresh new outlook, and from now on, we're gonna call this part of the show, oh, and one more thing. So here to help me kick off the first installment, please welcome back Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> What is your thing? I can do three little rolls of my tongue. Three rolls of your tongue. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs> uh, and that's one more thing. Thanks a lot. We'll see you tomorrow. We're back with Kelly Clarkson. And I was reading the uh, the name of the song is Since You've Been Gone. Since You've Been Gone. Yeah, no, they did. I know. It says interview. on there, Since You've Been Gone. <laughs> I'm blaming that one on Max Martin and Luke Gowell. <laughs> All right. I don't take credit for the you. <laughs> yeah, because it's, but yeah, you did it like Prince does it. With, it's just a you. Oh, wow. No, I didn't right. do that. Right. Yeah, no. It's, they it's, did it. Because it's Since You've Been Gone is the proper way to say it. I know. I would say, say Since You've Been Gone. My yeah. mom's a, an English teacher, so she, she probably didn't like that. No. So. Yeah. I, just let me see these things before you release them. Okay. <laughs> you I, red mark them for let me? Let me help you out. Or your yeah. mother, somebody. Because it's not Since You've Been Gone. I know. There are a I lot know. of young women I think they were trying to, to be kind of young and hip for, like, the younger people. It didn't work. Young and hip, un ungrammatical people. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm not claiming it. It wasn't mine. Well, you've done it. <laughs> um, so, and 
so you did you just move into a new house? I heard. Oh Lord, I did, and it's like such a it's crazy. You doing I heard, construction? I hear you're kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, that's why I want to talk about. Oh this. God, yeah. There's there's people always at the house because there's everything wrong with it. Like I pay really good money for it. It's on the beach. It's nice, and everything is wrong with it. There's like three leaks in the roof. The washing machine like exploded and like flooded my kitchen. There's holes in the wall. Like, the, I don't even know why they're there. There's did, no purpose. Were the holes there but when you bought the house? Well, like, or did they I, just start I had to spreading? buy it really quick because I was, I was traveling, coming back and forth, and they uh -huh. said, oh, this will all be, this was under, you know, construction before you were here. It'll all be done by the time you get back. Oh. oh no, there were, like, food, there was food there from the previous people. There were dishes. There were, it was horrible. How long have you been in I it? I don't have the greatest landlord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you, obviously. Wait, landlord, you bought it. No, 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 I didn't buy it. Sorry, I meant, I meant to say I'm renting it. Oh, you're renting yeah, it? Yeah, I've kind of rented everywhere in, in California because I don't know where I want to live yet. So now you, I'm trying you live beach. in Texas also, right? Yeah, I live in Texas, but uh -huh. I work here so much that you might as well have a place. I hate hotels, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. yeah. And so you're you're in this apart this apartment yeah. that's a mess. Yeah. Oh, and God, no one's it's, fixing it. Yeah. It's taken forever. It's taken forever to get it fixed. It's yeah, drama. No, no matter what they say. And they always say that it's almost gonna be done. Oh, we're almost done. It's Lot, like it's like yeah. those exercise videos. They're like, oh, only three more, but really it's twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's horrible. It's real at least something, you know, that's that's actually good for you along the way. Yeah, this, this is stressful nothing, yeah. and then it's finally there and it's I so know. much more money and but you're not paying for that. That's actually but the problem is from what I understand, you've got workers around the house all the time. All the time. And you like to be naked, and you must have I, a problem <laughs> with that. No, I do. That's, that's what and I, I have, Yeah, and I room with my... <laughs> I room with my brother and my friend Ashley, and they don't like that. But I won't walk around naked for my brother. But yes. like, if I'm alone in the house, I love it. I just love. Ever since I was a kid, I've never liked clothes. I've never like been literally into it. naked. Like you just I hang out it. in the house, like just like not with people, but by myself. But yeah. like reading a magazine naked. You, naked. You, seriously. I hate clothes. You walk in the kitchen and fix a sandwich, and you're naked. I'm naked. <laughs> it is how God intended. <laughs> yeah. No, but I don't do it around other people. Just if I'm alone, I hate. And, and then I'm never alone. There's always people there. But my mom always tries and buys me clothes and everything now and yeah and um, funny enough all I got this Christmas were like socks and and underwear and usually when you're a kid you hate that I love it now yeah I'm like yeah give it to me I love socks so and you're underwear. just now in socks and or underwear panties, around the I house say. sorry like knee-high socks and underwear you're walking around I love around. the knee-high socks yeah the little like yeah. soccer ones mm -hmm. I love those and then I'll have just you know cute little pants well you know I knit anyone my mom is gonna kill me <laughs> <laughs> I no there's not it's more the the grammar thing don't worry about the, the <laughs> naked you know I knit uh, uh, constantly in my off time, and I knew oh. that you got. Uh, do you? <laughs> You're no, one up on me on the girl no, thing. I don't do that. No, I don't. Okay. Knit, uh, really, but oh. um, let's just say I do. <laughs> and I made something for you because I understood that you got some underwear, and I got you some special <gasps> Ellen. Oh my God, those are awesome! Knit underwear. And they're breezy. It's yeah. almost like you're yeah. naked. It's, it's, they're breezy. Yeah. You can, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they're very breezy, so it's almost oh. like you're wearing nothing. See, and that's, a, that's how I like it. So that's cool. Yeah, there's you're nothing so sweet. You better than this for me. wool, itchy underwear to uh, make you. <laughs> All right, so that's for you. Thank you. All Thank right, you. you're welcome. Hey, you can log on to our website to purchase a copy of Kelly CD so Breakaway, which I love that song, Breakaway. That's such Thank a great you. song. Uh, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Kelly, thanks for being here. Oh. Yeah, I was scared at first. I was scared because you don't know how fast yeah. it's going to be. And you went pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I was like, oh, okay, I can do my arms. At first, I was clutching. Yeah. yeah. So I, I saw you at Idol Gives Back, and uh, and do you, are you amazed at how huge Idol has become? Oh, it's huge. I, I mean, it, and especially come from the first season when, you know, it wasn't big until really the last three. Yeah. So um, then it kind of blew up, and then it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And look how much good they did, though, like $70 million. $70 million so far. Yeah, and that's hopefully, so awesome. yeah. You see where that money goes. And Goes yeah. to the right place. I hope. Yeah. Now, have you been watching? Are you invested in these people this season? Yeah, I am. This is the first season I've actually been able to watch. Like usually, I've been on tour. So um, I love Jordan Sparks. She's, uh -huh. she's in my favorite. And, um, she's gonna do very well. She's gonna whether do really she well. wins or not. She's gonna do very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Just a beautiful girl, yeah. beautiful voice. But I mean, honestly, I like them all. They're all really di like Blake's got something cool and unique. So uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Good boy, Chance. Melinda's good, Lakeisha's good, yeah, everybody's I good. I loved all, all of them, yeah. I loved yeah. watching. I never got to actually sit at home and be a part of it. So it now, fun. do you vote? Do you get that invested that you actually vote? Oh, this is so mean. No. No. <laughs> but because I don't get to actually watch it when it's on, I TiVo it because oh. I'm usually working, so I get home and right. I mean I could call if I wanted, but I don't think anybody's gonna be there. It'd so. be too late. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, so and and you're you're touring all the time, so I assume that leaves no time for dating. Are you seeing anybody? Uh, I think probably you'd make time if you found someone, but no, I'm not seeing anyone. No. I'm 
no one, nobody. I have a busy schedule, so if you're gonna, if I'm gonna cut you in, you gotta be pretty cool. Okay. Well, there's someone right there. Yeah. <laughs> there's a candidate, and I got uh, takers. Seems like a quiet <laughs> guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, now he might be interested in this question. Last time you were here, you were talking that uh, when you're at home, you love being naked around the house. Is that still the I case? Do. <laughs> I do. I hate clothes. My mom will tell you since I was a kid, I hate it. All my pictures, if they have any pictures of me as a kid, I'm naked, like running around. And she'd be so embarrassed because I'd like anywhere, and I'd just start taking them off, and I'd be like, they're just tugging. And so, I just so take you them still off. just are naked all the time? Well, not all the time, because um, that'd be kind of gross, because I live with my brother, so eh. Yeah. All right, so you're on tour this summer. Yeah. And you're going to be on tour for how long? Again, two years, you think? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, well, I hope my album's successful, but no, no, I don't hope that. Um, and I love you, too. And um, it's, uh, it's going to be, I think, two and a half months, this first one, and then we're going to go overseas, so. Uh, great. Yeah. All right, and we have this sitting here because the vitamin water they, they is are sponsoring. sponsoring your yeah. tour, which is uh, hopefully people have been drinking that here. You need to yeah, you probably get are. yourself yeah. good. All right, so this is very cool, too. You're giving away tickets for every single one of your shows. Yeah. And so you go to our website all through the summer. Every, every one of your shows mm -hmm. we're giving away tickets to. So yeah. uh, that would be cool. Very cool. All right, her album, My December, drops in stores on July 24th. You can log on our website to find out how you can win tickets to her tour this summer. American Idol cast off. Lakeisha Jones is going to sing for us after this. It's like, <laughs> that's awesome. He's like unsure the whole time. He's like, oh my God. Yeah, right. It's like comes out. I love that. When they get, it's, it, they think they're even close to the lyrics, they get louder. I know. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh. No, that's just not, keep doing it. It's fun. He's fantastic. We contacted oh, him, it. and he's a sweet man. He's, yeah. He didn't mind. And it's awesome. It's awesome that he's that brave. Yeah. Most well, guys are like, no. No, there's there's many, many people. There's a whole compilation tape we'll send you of everybody that's tried it. Oh, my God. That's you, awesome. You would love that. Yeah, I loved watching it when we were watching on TV. I mean, uh -huh. we were dying. Now, when so. you're on stage, do you see people trying to sing along? Does that mess you up if they don't have the right words, and then you're yes. singing? It does, and I'm already, like, ever since, like, childhood, when I first started, like, I did, like, musical theater stuff. I I'm like, I'm the improv queen. I always, it, I mean, I am definitely gonna forget something. So I just have to improv, like I'll just make up lyrics. And so, especially when I'm watching people and I'm like, oh, you're not, you're not singing the right words. Where am I, am I in the third verse or yeah. what? So I freak, I freak out. Maybe There's a they, whole site dedicated they, to my bloopers. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, then I'd like to see <laughs> my that. My fans are really nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole site. <laughs> I would like to see it. Um, now, how do you feel about, uh, I mean, you're hugely popular and, you, and Idol has changed so much. Would yeah. you go back and do it again right now? Definitely. No, definitely. I think, I mean, what's funny is people always ask me about it. I mean, still, and it's, I mean, it's that show that I actually has the artist development mm -hmm. kind of thing. We don't have that anymore because labels are so scared right now. Right. So, and for good reason. I mean, the money thing. So, but yeah, I think um, American Idol is really good at the whole artist development. You get to see people sing different genres. And I think it's cool. I like picking who I'm going to buy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like picking the artist I get. I want to choose an album from. So. Well, it, it is smart. And yeah. did you get to meet them when you were singing uh, recently? I did. Yeah. I love the chick with all the tattoos. Yeah. I think girl, the yeah, blonde, she... I just I loved her artwork. And then um, I love the redheaded. She's real soulful and she's real young. Allison. Yes. Yeah, Allison. I like yeah, I was surprised she went home so early. But I mean, it's really tough. This is this was a tough year. There were a lot of really good ones. Yeah, and one, it's one of those shows too. It's like you think like the person's safe and they're not. Yeah. Because tomorrow on my season, everybody, it was like, whoa, Whitney Houston just got kicked off. Like yeah. it's like, I mean, right. she's like got this gorgeous voice and she's beautiful and it's like one of those things that everybody thought that people were gonna vote for her already, yeah. so they didn't worry about it. Yeah, it's weird. Apparently, they were very concerned about me. Yeah. <laughs> so they kept voting. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we're very glad that they yeah, did. We're very too. glad. Um, let's talk about this This great, you have a ranch in Texas, right? I do. Well, well, I'm not really that, like, ranchy. But, yes, it is a ranch. I have, like, um, ten. I mean, I'm not like a, hey, he all, you know, I'm not that yeah. person. But, yeah. but I, no. I am. No, no. Yeah. We, I love the countryside, but I'm, I'm not like John Wayne or anything. But, uh -huh. yeah, no, we have, like, a ten, I have ten horses right now. Four of them are miniature. So cute. Yeah, they're adorable, yes. those little horses. And one of my dogs, I have 10 dogs. Oh, yeah. Well, that's Pegasus. Uh-huh. Those are the normal ones. Those are the... <laughs> don't worry, I don't say that to them. I don't e hurt their feelings. <laughs> yeah. So. Either, yeah, either yeah. that or you're very short. And that's me looking really hot. <laughs> so yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah, no, those are all bears in the back. He's the big, large black one. He's awesome. And those are your dogs? Those are my dogs. Those are some of them. And Chunk, this one over here, way in the corner, top corner, uh -huh. he's confused because he's the size of my miniature horses. I mean, he barks all day night he's just like what's going on yeah he's freaked out because he thinks those are dogs that are yeah he's just like why am i the same size as you uh -huh. i don't understand it i don't understand it he's so confused and he's quasi kind of like 
not there. So, uh -huh. yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so he like runs into things. He's funny. <laughs> I love that. I love that you have all these rescues. And you have one cat? I just got one cat. Yeah, they're about to put her to sleep. And Marilyn, who knows me very well at the pound, because I don't like when they put them to sleep. So I always get the ones they're about that have been there too long or whatever. And I just got a cat. And I vowed I'd never get one because I have a lot of antiques and all my animals are outside. Uh huh. But like I couldn't. Oh, she's so cute. First of all, whoever owned her before I did. I mean, obesity at its finest. She's over, she's over 20 pounds, okay? And she loves sleeping on my chest, which is really hard to do when yeah. you're trying to breathe. Right. Yeah, but she's really cute, and she's a lovable cat, and her name's Do you Chiefers. think she's trying to kill you? I know. <laughs> yeah, no. No, but she's so sweet. Uh, it's my first cat, like, by myself. Sorry. Cats are great. A lot of people don't understand cats, but they really are. They're that, cool. They're... I grew up with cats. They yeah. just get fur everywhere. Well, some of them, some of them less, but that's great that you rescued the animals that oh, are Oh, I love to. it, I love it. I hate that they put them to sleep, so yeah, that's horrible. I know, there are a lot of no-kill shelters that are, like, best friends that I support. Yeah, uh, no, I do too, as well, right. near, my, near my home. All right, well, uh, I, I love seeing you again. Thanks Thank for being you. here. Kelly Clarkson's new CD, All I Ever Wanted, uh, is, is right here, and everybody in the audience is getting a copy. <laughs> We were just talking during the break. You look fantastic, by the way. Thanks. You look fantastic. I'm not doing much. What are you doing? I, I literally, I'm not doing much. It's really the dress. Um, it's yeah. doing it all? No, it's just a bunch of spandex. I think. <laughs> yeah, it just sucks it right on in. Um, but no, um, I did, I started doing yoga more because um, a therapist told me to start it. Because I was like, I just feel like I have a really hard time slowing down. So she told me to do it for meditation purposes. So. You go in, if y'all have ever done yoga, you go into the class and there's like these 70 year old and older women just with their legs above their heads, <laughs> doing these like tree pose, animal pose, whatever the pose is. And I'm like sitting there just like trying to get one of my legs up, like feeling really hot. So. I don't know what kind of class hard. you're going to. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> It's a different kind of go. No, it's just hard. Yoga's yeah. hard. It, well, it, yeah. you can go at your own pace, though. You don't have to have your head, legs wrapped around your head. But and even stuff. sitting there is hard for me. Really? Just like in Downward Dog, and they're like, breathe, oh. and like focus on your breath. I'm like, Lord. Oh, really? Like, <laughs> I can't focus. It's so hard for me to just, I have no off button. It's just like, all well, the time. Me too. And yeah. I started meditating recently, and it's, it's helped good. me tremendously. Me to, too. My yeah. happiness level? Yeah. Skyrocketed. Yeah. I know. No. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, meditation, meditation is helping. very, very nice, especially yeah. for people like us that, that are always yes. thinking. My mind is always it's hard to shut off. Very hard to shut up. Yeah. Um, and uh, I want to read something that came from your, uh, your mind and, and then into a tweet. Uh oh. Um, and tell me who you're talking about. At my chiropractor and in the waiting room, oh. I found the perfect man. He is seriously many different kinds of yummy. If anyone knows where I can find a single version of this man, you can just let me know. God did good with that one. <laughs> right? Oh, I found out he was married, so I can't stalk him now. Oh. Yeah. He's hot. Yeah, he's he was on the Friday Night Lights. I just heard he won. He, he won an Emmy. I didn't know that. I'd just like him to know that I loved you before you had an Emmy. So. Oh. That's true love. That is. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He, he's he's very cute. He, uh, so you want that kind of guy? They don't make them like that anymore, I feel. Really? Yeah, I know. They all wear skinny jeans and are in a band and don't wash their hair. It's like a new thing. Yeah. Or everybody, every guy I meet is very metrosexual, and I'm like, what? All right, so if there yeah. are any filthy, dirty men who don't bathe. <laughs> any truckers. Any, any truckers yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, please get in touch with us, and we'll help you find Kelly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Kelly's new CD, Stronger, comes out October 24th. Uh, thank you so much, Kelly thank Clarkson, you. for being here. Thank you. Clarkson, I don't know if you saw Kelly on the uh, American Music Awards the other night, but you were amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and this is a, a theme show, I think. Everyone's engaged. You're, you're engaged. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, you're not? No, no. I thought you were. No, everyone thinks we are. We're not. We've, we've actually only been dating oh, for nine months. I'm sorry. We well, are then... totally going to get married. We love each other. We're totally going to get married one day. But no, he has, like, you know, two children, and I'm new, and... You know, you want to like, but you've met. I the mean, children. he's got to put a ring on at some point. Yeah, but he's got to do it. But I'll wait it out. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you are getting married, what role will I play in it? <laughs> well, what do you want to do? Nothing. Can... Okay. Because <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I've, I've never been the girl to plan a wedding. I mean, I we will totally probably elope. I'm just not. Yeah. 
Oh, you should and have something, because don't you live in Nashville? It'd be so great to have something like out in nature somewhere and have like an outdoor wedding. Yeah, no, that would be great, but then it would be like another day where I dress up and people take pictures. Yeah, oh, so, you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of normal. Do a low-key thing. Yeah, no, if we, if we did, it would be really low-key, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I kind of, eloping sounds weird. I've been a part of so many weddings, and even my best of friends become crazy. Like, it's like, that show is for real, Bridezilla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girls become, it's like a whole different kind of PMS level. It's yeah. like a, it's and everything's, like, it's like the flowers. And I'm like, people are starving in different countries and your flowers are wilting or something. I'm like, what? Yeah. Like, yeah, they freak out. Yeah, no, it, it's yeah. better to do it really small. I agree, yeah. yeah I, I think. And just be that. thankful and grateful. That's what I love. The only, the, my favorite part of Thanksgiving to me, it's not about the food and not about, it's just actually about being thankful. What are you thankful for? Ooh, good one. You know what? And this is going to sound like I'm making a joke, but it is so not. It is serious. I am not alone for the first time for Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I'm very happy. So, yeah. Oh, uh, that's that's great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm. That's I'm like, no, I seriously, I've been like praying for so long, and he's so great. So. I get to spend it with someone. I'm totally crapping out. That's so, but that's beautiful. My boyfriend is still going to make fun of me. No, because the last time you were here, we talk, we've talked about that. He was the guy. Here, but yeah, yeah, but he didn't know at the, that time. That's yeah. why I was like, you can't put that in your show. He's please. the guy. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. I'm glad you're happy. I'll tell you what I'm thankful for. I, you know, we have this audience today filled with so many people that we've helped in the past. And uh, as we just saw with Renisha, that you, you, We've helped people, but then they've turned around and paid it forward. They've not that. only just taken what we've given them and, and been grateful for it, which is pl fine, that's enough, but they've also helped other people. Mm -hmm. And so when people do that, I then want to help them even more. So everyone in the audience, you're coming back for one of our 12 days of giveaway. <laughs> sold over 20 million albums, won three Grammys, and just scored another number one hit song off her new Christmas album, Wrapped in Red. Please welcome the amazing Kelly Clarkson. perfume or cologne or whatever it is. And it maybe someday good. I will. I like okay. to mix different things. You look beautiful. Congratulations. Okay. Well, wrapped I, in red. Yes, I, 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 I get it. Get it? Yeah. Get it. I you, just, it. you did your whole set for me. Yes, I yeah. did. <laughs> the last time uh, we saw each other, we were at the Grammys, and I didn't know until afterwards you photobombed us. I guess you're welcome. there was somebody in the audience. To, yeah. You're, I was bored. Yeah. It was great. I, you get so bored. You have yeah. to sit there for hours. All right. But we were talking the whole time. Yeah, we, we and y'all shared. Yeah, she shared her vodka with me. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and that was really nice. Or it was gin. Actually, I don't remember what it was. I don't either. It was clear and it was good. good. But it was not peanut yeah. butter and jelly or any flavor it. like that. Yeah. yeah. I you, was like, that's gross. You will not be doing any of that stuff because you were no. pregnant. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I don't. I don't really miss alcohol. But I think your body knows that. Yeah. I mean, of course you don't want a glass of wine. You yeah. Know, but yeah, I guess. It, well, I'm not really a huge drink. It's like I'm weird. I. I'm not a big drinker, but then if I am drinking, it's like I'm trying to win some award. It's really bad. No. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm going to get the drunkest. It's yeah. like, yeah. Right. Who's holding my hair? It's really bad. I'm not a good, <laughs> I'm not a good drinker. Yeah. Who's, who's it's holding It's because I don't hair. drink often, and then I go out with my friends that do drink, and they have a yeah. tolerance, so I try and keep up with them. First uh, bad thing to do. Yeah, don't, don't try yeah. to keep up with people. Here's that's what it's uh, not, not to do, kids. Here's, I'm, I don't know why I'm talking about alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a good I'm thing sorry. to, yeah. I mean, if somebody has to hold your hair, don't ever drink. Yeah. That's, if you, if you get to that point. I know, I don't generally, I don't. Yeah. No. So how are you feeling? So you're doing these, all this press for the Christmas album. Yeah. And you're pregnant, and, uh, and I understand it's, uh, you're having some sickness. Oh my God, like, it is so upsetting when I ask women, because they'll be like, oh, I had a, you're going to love this, and then I'm like, oh, are you sick? Like the first one, like, no. And I want to like hit all of them with my car. <laughs> like, I vomit a good dozen times a day. Like, it's like bad. How? Like, I vomited before coming out here and I had a peppermint, so you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not even kidding, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I know, 
it's like so gross. And that's the thing too, you're not attractive when you're pregnant. Like everybody tells you like, you glow and your hair is pretty and your nails are pretty. That is total crap. <laughs> my nails are short, my hair still falls out. Like it's not all lush and beautiful. And I have no glow unless it's like something left over from a bathroom trip. <laughs> because it's horrible. Wow. I'm done talking. You're, you're, uh, <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Never stop. I <laughs> love it. It's so bad. But I think that that's... It look, is bad, though. No one tells you. It's different for everyone. I think that there are... And most women uh, go through at least the first trimester of, like... No, they more. don't. Oh, they don't. Every freaking woman I talk to, there's, like, maybe one out of every 20 that's like, yeah, I was sick for, like, a week. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And go... <laughs> like, How far along are you that you've been sick? Like, I'm like a, months? I'm 11 weeks, and I'm... Yeah. And still every single day. It's ever, I had one day, and this is actually really sad. I had one day, and it was either before Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving, I can't remember. But, um, and it was gone. I didn't, I didn't throw up one time that day. And I literally like cried to my sister mom, like, it's over. Like they said it would be abrupt and it would just end and, and everything. And then the next day, nope, it just picked right on back up. Oh, yeah. So do it's you? It's miserable. Yeah, well, <laughs> but I. I'm so happy I'm pregnant. I just, you know, wish. <laughs> I, <laughs> I just wish, like, he or she would stop trying to kill me. Yeah. 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 So do you think it's a, you don't know if it's a girl or a boy, right? We don't, but I just found out that you can find out soon. I was at The Voice last night, and I saw this girl, and she was pregnant and five months pregnant and beautiful and skinny. I was like, God, I hate you. But and it was, <laughs> it's like, I know I'm very bitter when I'm pregnant. <laughs> but anyway, she told me you can now get, like, chromosomal testing. Like, they can, they can like, take your blood and figure out, I guess, if people want to know if there's any problems or whatever, right. but but with that, you can find out the gender. So I totally want to know, like, right now. You do? Yeah. For what reason? I just want to know, and it doesn't even matter, because, like, honestly, the name we've picked, um, we're, it's a, if it's a boy or girl, it's the same name. Chris? Yep. <laughs> Pat? No. You won't guess it. It's, like, a random name. It's not like, you know, Billy. some weird famous person that's going to be, like, Blue Jazz. Like, it's, you know, it's not going to be, like, weird name. It's not going to be Blue Jazz? No. You no. know how, like, people, like, it's like they name their child. And I see, all I'm thinking of are real celebrity baby names, and I don't want to insult anyone. But so I can't think of anything funny. But it'll be, like, Sweater Mike. And, you know, it'll, it'll be weird, right? Don't you think so? When you, S people name their kids weird names. Uh, no, I know. My, yeah. Why am I yelling at you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hormonal. You've got a lot of, you've got a, har a lot of hormone going on. I know, I do. Yeah. But it's good when the adrenaline's going, I don't get sick. So just yeah. keep me going. Okay, all right, yeah. you keep talking then because I don't have it. I don't have a bucket, I don't have anything. <laughs> Um, we'll talk about I'm your wedding. Crying. Oh, that's going to get you emotional, though. But I saw pictures oh. of your wedding. That was beautiful. Thank you. That it, looked gorgeous. Oh, man, it was so beautiful. It was so great. And But it was really funny, though, because I... I mean, look at that. Oh, I was like... I thought you were responding for me saying it's great. I didn't see the picture. I was like, wow, okay. Um, no, it was, it was beautiful, but it was really funny because I'm so glad we didn't do a bunch of people because I actually get nervous talking in front of people. Like, not like right now, like an interview, but like if I have to stand there and say something on my own, like, yes. mm. and, and it happened. I was like, I'm not going to cry. I'm so good. And I bawled so hard, like not pretty Rachel McAdams cry, like really bad, like, oh, that poor girl. Like, it was, it was so bad that my videographer hasn't even shown it to me. <laughs> like, like, our photographer and everything else has shown it, because I couldn't, it was just like, ew, ew, ew. I couldn't get my vows out. <laughs> we wrote our own vows, and people tell you to do that, and it was the worst damn decision. <laughs> so did Brandon go first, or did you go first? That's funny, because, um, of course, I was competitive about that. Um, but I, I was, went first, and then, and then I couldn't get through, and he, and, and he said, well, I'll go, and then I was like, no, 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 you, if you can do it, I can do it. Like, and, I, and I totally got through it finally. It took like an hour. I'm not kidding. For it you was, to get through your... I couldn't, even, I couldn't get word that. I'm not like one of those people, can you talk when you cry? No. Yeah, me neither. I'm yeah. just a sobbing hot mess. Yeah. Yeah, proven <laughs> <laughs> on my wedding day. Yeah, I love you. I'm, I miss you being here, and I, we uh, have to take a break. I blend in. And then, uh, yes, we, you, you sure do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take a break and we're going to come back and let Kelly talk. We are back with the pregnant and marvelous <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. And so oh, you got no. where were you, you got married where exactly? Uh, uh, Blackberry Farms. It's in um, Tennessee. Tennessee. And you Beautiful. flew your, your 
Brandon has a pilot's license. He's already a pilot. I'm getting my license, but he flew us there. And so then... it's just the two of you in the plane? No, Randy, because I wanted to fly back, but um, he, he flew with us as well. Okay. Yeah. So Brandon flew. Brandon flew. And then um, Randy, oh, you don't know who Randy is. I should tell you. <laughs> Oh, oh, Randy was there. It's the best interview you've ever given. <laughs> um, no, he um, is my instructor, and he. I was supposed to fly us there, but then we just ended up changing, and Brandon flew us there, and I flew us back. So. And and do you get scared? Right. I mean, Top Gun. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I I'm totally to, I'm totally full of crap. I I was sc so scared the first lesson. Like I let go of the throttle, and I was like, take it, take it. Like it was my first flight, and it just started getting really turbulent. And I was like, whoa, not for me. And so, and he goes, no, 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 Randy was like so calm about it. And he was like, no, he was like, it's just like a dirt road. And I'm like, it is, what the, it is not like a dirt road. I'm 8,000 freaking feet in the air. There is no wheel under here that's keeping yeah. me on the ground. Like it was not the same. Yeah. But so I freaked out, but I did it again. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> exactly. You are awesome. I did it again. <laughs> I did. I felt I, I really wanted to overcome it. I used to have a huge fear where I'd cry on planes. Like, yeah. be really scared. Me so. too. I had really? A, yeah. But oh, yeah. I don't want to get my pilot's license to, to overcome that fear. I just, it's actually very, if you like control, which a lot of women do, um, Janet Jackson told us. And um, anyway, I don't know why I said that. It, I don't know. And um, but you would like it. It's fun. <laughs> I just, I'm it's having like, so much fun. I'm, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it's you. It's like I'm so nervous. I just cannot shut up. Oh, it's no, it's it's perfection. It is so uh, can I just sing? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. But first, let's talk about this. Before you sing, let's talk about your Christmas album, and okay. you already have uh, be good. A, a number one hit yeah. off of it. Uh, congratulations. Which I found out from my fans. I didn't even know. Like you know, my fans were tweeting me. Your like, people didn't tell you? No. Wow. They probably don't call because every time they call, I think they want me to do something, and I'm like, do you understand how much I'm throwing up? Yeah. <laughs> so they find my manager is just like, only if it's an emergency, call me. Right. Well, that so, would be an emergency. You have a number yeah. one hit on this album. It's cool. It's, yeah. It's beautiful. It's great. And uh, you love Christmas sweaters, so I got you a gift, okay? Because oh. you love Christmas sweaters. We are sweaters. having an ugly Christmas sweater dinner. Is it ugly? Because that would be great for well, me. Well, you. <laughs> You be the judge of that. <laughs> oh my God. And, my goodness. And, we definitely want your this daughter to, to match oh you. Oh my God. Oh God. Next Christmas, you'll be able to wear this. <laughs> This is a lovely turtleneck. Uh -huh. it's gonna be, I'm going to be the hit of the ball. Yep. Yeah, the bell of the ball. And um, thank you. Chris or Pat will be in this. <laughs> this is, it's a All cool right. name. Yeah. But All right. Not, like, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. All right, but it's not going to be Sweater Mike? Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break, and then Kelly is going to sing after this. <laughs> Our first guest is a pop superstar, an American Idol, and a new mommy. Her new CD is called Piece by Piece. Please welcome my friend Kelly Clarkson. So dressed up. Thank, Thank you. you so much I'm for getting fancy all... for you, Ellen. You're fancy. I love you. And I love you too. And you have the most precious child, River. I just I win. Met... Oh my She's god. She's so great. Yeah. She is adorable. Yeah. I love her. Oh. I mean, are you serious? No. I know. I mean, She's every so picture. I, we, we have so many pictures of her. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? She's constantly just like pounding her mouth. Oh. She's like, yeah. Is she in the studio there? She's recording? She, yeah. We've already started her young. Yeah, good. She will work and get paid. She will pay us back for what she's caused us. Yeah, me. No us about it, y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh No, it's all you. Yep, yeah. it was all me. So you were here. She really is precious. I mean, that, oh, she's going to fall down. And you you met her backstage. She's such a light. She's such, she loves everyone. She smiles. She she's, does this thing. I know. She smiles. Yeah. She's, she's absolutely adorable. I love her. And a good thing. I should, yeah. You, <laughs> I know, because she owes you when she, she owed you me. went through it so nine months of you were sick the entire nine months right yeah the last time I was here I was so ill yes and then weren't you planning on doing natural childbirth <laughs> yeah. yeah and then <laughs> oh, 
And then what happened to that? Oh, no. Well, uh, honestly, I walked in a week before she was due, and I, TMI, you're welcome, I no dilation. Like, there was nothing happening, and I just broke down. And I was like, what can we do? What are my options? And I was like, this is the time I wanted to use my Kelly Clarkson card. Like, can you get a special surgery for slumpies that can get them out sooner? I was like, I will drop my card right now. Well, I was like, and she, so she came out a, a week early. But I'm glad because it turns out I can't ever have a natural birth. Like, I, my pelvic inlet or something. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I would have been one of those Tell people. Tell us all about that. No, no, I was, I was, no, I was on the table like while the surgery was happening, and like my doctors told me like, oh, she was trying. She's like the only conehead baby to come out of a C-section because she was stuck, and like I would have been one of those women that died like back. And I was on the table like you know, drugged, not drugged, kidding. I totally did it without anything. Um, but <laughs> anyway, I was sitting on the table and I was like, so I would have been like one of those people that died. I was like, so wow. annoying. So well, it's good that then you had the C-section. I, I did good. It's good. I would have yeah. been one of those like. Uh, yeah. 20 hour ones and then like and then she give turned, me the morphine yeah. like, <laughs> and then you were recording this during the time you were yes. pregnant as well how did how did that happen how could you sing while you're pregnant she's just I mean it takes up all the room so you can't get enough breath yeah and so then I would just start hitting notes where my musical director who's known me since idol we'd both be like like <laughs> he'd be like oh my god you suck <laughs> like it's like <laughs> We were like, God, that was horrible. Like, I just couldn't hit notes. I just couldn't carry it. Like, I didn't have enough air, but. Well, and yet yeah. you still debuted at number one. So yeah. congratulations. <laughs> no, I'm good yeah. now. I'm good now. <laughs> uh, no, I know. It was, I'm good now. <laughs> um, well, you're going to be here. We're going to talk again uh, after this, and then you're going to sing. But I do want to okay. address, I, I know that you have been getting a lot of criticism. And I, I just. I know. Well, I think, I love that people think that's new. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. Like, welcome. Yeah. It's the past 13 years. Right. Yeah. Do, was that like, first of all, because you did all of a sudden become very famous uh, suddenly because yeah. of American Idol. And then so you've been dealing with criticism off and on. Yeah, I was the biggest girl on the show, too. So, And I wasn't big, but people would call me big because right. I was the biggest one on Idol. And I've kind of always gotten that. So I'm like, I'm like, people are like, I'm so sorry. That lady in London was so mean to you. I'm like, are you serious? Like, get in line. So, yeah. <laughs> so but I mean, but really, it does. I mean, I, I can tell you I don't pay attention to the stuff either. But if I yeah. happen to hear something, yeah. it does hurt my feelings. Cause, well, it hurts your feelings more if it's someone else that you like. You know, mm -hmm. if it's you, you're just like, whatever. But like, if it's like somebody, I think what hurts my feelings for people is then I'll go, I'll have like a meet and greet after a show and a girl that's like bigger than me will be in the meet and greet and be like, oh God. And they'll say, if they think you're big, they must, I must be like so fat to them. And it's like, you're just who you are. Like we are who we are and whatever size. Like, and it doesn't mean that you're gonna be that forever. Like that's, that's the thing, like it doesn't, Sometimes, you know, we're more fit, like some, especially me, I'm such a creative person, I yo-yo, like, so sometimes I'm more fit and I get like into kickboxing hardcore and then sometimes I don't. And I'm like, yeah. I'd rather have wine. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, and I think that that's t totally fine as long as what, whatever makes you, as long as you're happy and as exactly. long as you feel like you're taking care of yourself yeah. and healthy. Um, and I want you to be able to have your wine and, and <laughs> do be too. able to carry your baby around. So I got you a little gift. Oh, Let me show you. it's going to be great. The wine and a baby? baby? Yeah. You have your baby. So like and, a helmet? Or? Okay. So here's oh, what you what do. Is, this is such a cute bag. Okay, wait. I know. So I know. I'm a <laughs> yeah, gift giver, Kelly. It really is. So here's River's juice over here. Okay. She so, can sippy already. Yep. That's great. And then With, for her wine. Then you have mommy's juice here, <laughs> and so you have. Let's see what size. No! That's red wine right here. Yes! I love you. You're welcome. That's amazing. And you did such a great Vanna White. <laughs> and then this is, did you turn it around already? And so if you want white wine during the day, like a, oh. like, like for a light lunch or something. I you know? love you. That's, yeah. So, this, okay, come cheers. on. I love that you knew I love red. I don't know if you knew that. Please welcome Kelly Clarkson. Don't look, don't look. 
I know. Yeah, look away, I, I'm telling you, I showed it to Bonnie before the show because Bonnie oh. hadn't seen it, and I've already cried watching it once, and then Bonnie and I were crying watching it again. It really was, if, if you didn't see it, um, first of all, were you surprised by the reaction that that we all had the next day? Uh, yes, I came off like almost in tears for a different reason because <laughs> I was so embarrassed. Because <laughs> I was like, oh God, I was like, this is my final thing on Idol and I like could not hold it together. Like I was almost losing it almost the entire song. I know. I was proud of myself for making it as far as I did, but my husband knows me well. I came right off stage and he was like, don't ruin it. Don't ruin the moment. He was like, cause I was like, it was so embarrassing. Oh my God, I couldn't do that cry the whole time. Like, and it, I didn't really realize it was gonna be that bad. Um, and we were rehearsing, you know, that day and I, I just couldn't get through it. And I think it was, you know, my daughter's, you know, my one year old's running around the same hallways. I was 19. Yeah, I think you know, explain, the so, so the song is, a, is, explain what the song is, why it's oh, emotional in well, itself. and the song is incredibly sad. But I just snorted. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm so attractive when I'm pregnant. Um, anyway, um, it's just incredibly, it's sad but hopeful. Because um, a lot of us, you know, we didn't have like a bar to set. You know, as far as finding love and relationships or friendships, any in any form, you know, a relationship. And so my sister and I had this conversation and afterwards. I ended up writing this song about how lucky we are because we both found incredible fathers and incredible, you know, just lovers and men and just partners and everything. So they're just, I feel really lucky because I feel like a lot of girls with daddy issues don't end up that way. Yeah. We end up going the same. So. Yeah. And yeah. you found a great guy. And I he's did. A, he's a great husband and, and he a great was there. father. My little girl was there. My little boys like turn in circles in my stomach. Right. I was, and it's it was a song nostalgic. That you... It was like the last time I'm ever gonna be on Idol and it's ending. I was like, I was screwed from the get-go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're pregnant. Emotionally, it was just, I was on yeah. a slip and slide from hell. And then everybody was crying. I mean, you know, Keith was crying. And, I'm so and glad I didn't see him. Yeah, he was He was I, sobbing from the oh. first verse, really, and then and then really started crying, and then Jennifer was crying. And But anyway, it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. So River is the most adorable little girl. She's pretty she, rock and roll. Oh my Oh my God, she's, she's, she loves you. I love her. She I, just always wanted to kiss you and she, give you lipstick. She's yeah, like, <laughs> she's, everybody's trying to give me lipstick. <laughs> um, but, um, she does that. That's her thing right now is lipstick. And she goes, mm, 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 oh mm. my, she's so adorable and so mm -hmm. friendly. Like she's just a happy little girl. It's kind of scary because she would go home with anyone and be yeah. fine in life. I would take her home. She's very happy like with, and it's, oh, it's scary. You can't not watch her. She's adorable. And yeah. she knew my voice because she loves Finding Nemo. So now you'll She's, be obsessed with yeah. Dory and then you don't have to watch Nemo anymore. Yes, yeah, she is, yes. And yeah. we have watched it enough. Yeah. Like I feel like we live together. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're always in my house. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I got something for her though oh. that I think she's gonna like and I think that he's gonna like when he comes out. Oh. So she has, <laughs> She oh has a Nemo, <laughs> and he, he has a Nemo, and she this has a Dory. Amazing. Yeah, I think she's gonna oh, like that. Oh, I hope he's this chubby. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's just something in there. So I don't think awesome. she. No, I know. We don't expect her to look like that. Oh just, my God, this is awesome. Yeah. All right, she's gonna want to wear it every day. So. Well, now I'm living with you even more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank All right, uh, her new CD comes out tomorrow. It's called Piece by Piece Remixed. Everyone in the audience, you're going home with a copy. Well, you know I love a game at night, and I thought, why wait until night? So uh, for the first time ever attempted, we're going to play a game night in daytime. To play with me, please welcome three incredible women. First, she's the new girl, Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> Bonnie Raitt, everybody! <laughs> and the original American <laughs> Idol, yeah. Kelly Clarkson! Again. I know. <laughs> All right, we're going to play one of my favorite board games. It's called Things, and here's how it works. I am going to give you a category. We're all going to text a funny answer on our iPads, and then I'm going to have to guess which one of you said which answer. If I'm right, I win thousands of dollars. All right, <laughs> here we go. Here's the first category. Something you would not want to find in your bed. Ready? All right. 
Let's see the first one. Paparazzi. <laughs> Let's see another Could one. A man bun. <laughs> Let's see another one. An uncorked bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> Let's see the last one. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good answers. Um, Zoe, I think you said um, an uncorked bottle of maple syrup. Yes. Yes, wow. <laughs> Who said man bun? Can I, are we, me? Yeah. Me. <laughs> you you said did. man bun? Yes. And you, you said okay. Donald Trump, Bonnie? That's what I would have guessed. <laughs> all right. I agree. <laughs> or, or Donald Trump in a man bun. Both of those yeah. would be. <laughs> oh. All right, here's the next one, and I'll mm. guess what Bonnie said. Uh, something Ellen would never say. All right. All right, let's see. Something Ellen would never say. How's it hanging? <laughs> let's see the next one. <laughs> I'll have the steak. <laughs> Let's see the next one. Does this dress make my butt look big? <laughs> Let's see the next one. I'd love to babysit your three kids. Um, I am going to say that Bonnie said, how's it hanging? <laughs> no? That was me. That was you? <laughs> Bonnie, what did you say? Does this dress make my butt look yeah. big? Yeah. Now, I said I'd love to babysit your three kids, um, and I knew Zoe said I'll yeah, have to yeah, stay because yeah. you know I'm vegan. So I, I was going to guess yeah. that. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I, I guess one, and I'm wrong on one. Let's see if I can guess what Kelly said. This is the next category: something that confirms you've had too much to drink. <laughs> Something that confirms you've had too much to drink. I agree to babysit your three kids. <laughs> Next one. You wake up in your clothes covered in cookie crumbs. Next one. You're pregnant. <laughs> the next one. You get a perm like Marsha Clark's. <laughs> oh. I am going to say, Kelly, you said. Mm, this is a tough one. You either said you're pregnant or you wake up in uh, cookie crumbs, but it's I'm going to say... Be both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say you said cookie crumbs. Nope. No. Oh, oh I said that. Up. You said that? What yeah. did you say, Kelly? You're pregnant. You're pregnant. Yeah. Uh, you're done with that one. And then... You have like a food theme going with the uncorked maple I syrup do. and then the steak and then the cookie crumb. You're right. And then you said Marsha Clark's perm, Bonnie. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I agree to babysit your three kids. That <laughs> confirmed that I'm drunk. All right. All right. It's obvious that I won. Um, <laughs> that's how you play things. We'll be right back. Our first guest is a three-time Grammy Award winning superstar. And now she is also a best-selling author. Please welcome Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> It seemed like you were walking too slow. I'm like, I felt forever. No. Yes. I saw you go, I'm walking too slow. I was like, this is too slow. I haven't done this in a while. I've been like pregnant for a while. I know. No, the last time you were here, you were very pregnant. Yes. And now you have a very adorable little boy. And I'm not pregnant. And you're not pregnant. Woo! <laughs> 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 yeah, but oh boy, he's yeah. so uh, he's he's a, so cute, right? He is so precious. He's he's larger than that now. He he's he definitely is, and he's totally like toehead like me, like blonde hair. Like I was like a toehead when I was a kid, and he has really big blue eyes like my brother, but he, he does not look like my husband. No, kind of suspect. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks like you. He, yeah, totally a Clarkson. He and looks he like just smiles constantly. Yeah. He's so they're backstage. Remy, Remy. Yeah. Remy B. Remy is adorable. Yeah. Now, River, who I love, she's your daughter. She's a terrorist, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's two, like, in spades. She's, <laughs> yeah, she's got a personality. Yeah. That... Well, she saw you and said, sit. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I like, walked 
walked up to her and I went, are you River? Because I didn't recognize her from the last time she's I wanted so to make yeah, sure. She's so big, yeah. And I said, are you River? I said, I'm Ellen. And she goes, sit. <laughs> she's like, I said, like, I can. I'm working. So bossy. She can be like the most lovable human and then just like mean. Yeah. yeah. She's not mean, but she was adorable. She was watching me play she, ping pong. Well, and you she was were with like, her oh. for like 30 minutes. Try the whole day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she goes like, wee, oh. <laughs> like, and is she, Clint. how is she with, oh, look, she seems sweet with Remy. She, it, well, because I'm not holding him. Like, anytime I hold him, it's like, I don't know what you're doing in my spot. Yeah, she doesn't like that. She's jealous of him. She is getting so jealous of that moment. But she loves him. She loves feeding him, and she loves... You know, it's I'm such a mom. I'm so boring. I'm sorry. I keep talking about my kids. I'm asking well, you questions. Well, I'm telling you kids book, right? So that's no, funny. it's okay. <laughs> it's, <laughs> and now, will you have more? Yeah. No, no, not kids. But, but thank you, my book. Ah, my, my husband full on just had a heart attack. <laughs> no, we have four. So, because yeah. I'm married into two. So right. we have a 15, nine, two, and five month old. Yeah. So, so whoop. <laughs> no more. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It takes, I already have days where I like cry. So we don't need uh, any more kids. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> so, River, the last time she was here, I know that she, she loved finding Nemo. So I gave her a Dory yes. costume. Does she like that? She does. She went from Finding Nemo to Jurassic Park. <sighs> oh. She's two. <laughs> you didn't laugh. I know. So, Judge me. It's fine. I, I, here's the thing. My sister had it on her computer at the house, and she saw dinosaurs. She know, she goes to a lot of museums and things, and they have dino exhibits. So she was like, dino, dino. And she demanded, like, lost her crap until she... And I was like, this is too old. And I was like, it'll scare her, right? So I'll just play it real quick. And she'll be like, no. Mm -mm. Seen all of them. She loves them. Wow. Like, when people are being attacked, she literally laughs and is like, ah! Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what that says about her here, but I don't know. Wow. I don't know. Or I, here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'd be a little bit concerned. I know. People are probably, I, she, I'm a good mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, she loves him and she's not scared. I think we teach them fear. She doesn't know to be scared. She thinks they're playing. Yeah. Like, well, you know. Well, they are. It's not. We don't have it's the not real yeah. exactly. Well, we yeah. well, but a two year old, you're trying to explain that to her, and like you're like, what's getting through and what's like, brr, like yeah. Charlie, wah, yeah. Wah, wah, yeah. yeah, Charlie Brown. I don't know things. I don't know. So how did this? Is this based on her? And how did this? Wait, come Finding up? Nemo was her first movie, though. I I meant to tell you that earlier. That was her first time going to the movies. Wow. Yeah. So it was funny. And she sat the whole time. This now, does she know that Dory is me? She no, well, no, that's confusing to her, but she knows your voice. So like she'll she knows she, she thinks like, I sound Ellen. like a fish. She thinks you're a fish. Yeah. <laughs> she well, Ellen sure sounds like a <laughs> yeah. fish. Yeah. Um, but she, anyway, it was her first movie. Well, so that's really cool. Yeah. I, I, a couple of people have told me that. That's yeah. Really, that's Isn't that really special? Cool. I mean, I it don't is. know. It's, I think it's special. It is special. Um, let's talk about this book and we how should. you came up with this because <laughs> that year because you wrote it. Um, how did you come up with the idea? I well, honestly, I didn't mean try to book. I we were traveling all these places. We had just gone to like Asia and Australia and all over England and for uh, Kelly Clarkson music work. And then um, we, I was like, she's never gonna remember all this. And she's done all these amazing, her passport is crazy, like already, and she's won. So I wrote like these, just these little stories for her to put with pictures that we took. And then my husband and Nanny were like, you should totally turn these into books. And I was like, no one's gonna wanna read that. And then they do apparently. So yeah, yes. they're books now. And they come with like a lullaby and the dog is actually my favorite dog that ever, he's, he passed away, but his name is Joplin. He was like my best friend. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. Well, so that's her sidekick. That's amazing, and of course, and then there's a low light. Now, does there she, is. Do you? Yeah. Does she sing? Does she's? <laughs> she. I, she gets that from her dad. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're welcome, Brandon. So, <laughs> yeah. So she's no. Not. She can't really stay on key. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Which I'm kind of excited about because I want her to do something else. But like, I don't. For, well, I guess it's proven that people don't have to sing to have a career. But, but <laughs> it's, it's out there. Yeah. <laughs> but um. <laughs> So maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but but she doesn't, no. She loves singing though. Like you played Stronger when everybody was dancing for a yeah. show and she was full on in a different key singing yeah. Stronger. <laughs> yeah. I would like to hear that It's actually. amazing. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, the name of the book is River Rose and the Magical Lullaby. Everybody yeah. in the audience is gonna get a copy. <laughs> and we'll be back and play a game. We are back with the lovely Kelly Clarkson. And yeah. uh, so we're gonna play this, uh, this new game. Yeah. No, we'll start no. with something else. No, we, now we just play the game. Gonna... Yeah, I will play a game. All right, we'll play a game. Okay. All right, all month long we've been part. <laughs> I haven't had coffee in a week. So.
<laughs> That's your all, first all week long, we partnered with Ulta Beauty to raise money for Breast Cancer Research Foundation. They're an amazing partner. And today, we're going to play a game called Celebrity Confessions, which I think you just heard oh. the theme song for. Um, <laughs> So, all right, so it means that scary. you're a celebrity and you okay. have to uh, confess something that you've never, ever told anybody else. This is, and that Which is hard for me because I'm kind of an open book. But, so, but I, yeah. I know, but I'll give you $10,000 for your charity for, for a breast cancer a, a foundation if, if you give us some, uh, something good. Okay. <laughs> no fresh. Um, well, there's... There's a couple that I can tell you backstage for the 10 grand for breast cancer that I can't tell the world. Um, but there's one that's, I'm, a, I'm almost afraid to tell you this because I'm a, I'm a horrible human. Like, this is a horrible human story. But I was 18, and I had literally been on two dates in my life, and this was the second one because I didn't date. And now you're going, oh, because she was 18. But I didn't date much. And anyway, so I went on this date. This guy came. I was, I was waitressing at a cocktail, uh, or at, wait, I was cocktailing at a comedy club that I worked at, and this guy just kept coming, and he'd tip me like mad and be like, please go on a date with me, please go on a date with me. And I was like, I really just, I'm not into it, I'm working. I was trying to sing, I was trying to, I, didn't, I wanted to focus, you know, whatever. And finally I say yes to going out with him. Well, we get there, and like, I am super self-deprecating. Like, I applaud it. I think it's the funniest thing ever, to a point. And then you're like, oh, it gets just real mean to yourself. Um, and he was 5'2", and I'm five, three and a half. So, you know, I was like, whatever. I didn't, I obviously went out with you, so it didn't bother me. But he proceeded to talk about his height for like a solid hour. And I was stood an hour. <laughs> and then I, I went to the bathroom and I left. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going straight to hell, I'm aware. I, 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 it's the worst thing I've ever done. Honestly, I, I, well, I'm sure there are others, but like, I feel, I mean, cause right, Wait, I just, so you said you were going to the bathroom <laughs> and then you just snuck out? I, I left him, he was just sitting there at a, at a Benigan's. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it and was then, really did bad. you ever run into it? It was bad, y'all. <laughs> he never came. He never came. Well, obviously. Who? But wait, so you never ran into him again? No, no. And it was like, I mean, if you're out there, I'm so sorry. Yeah, apologize. I know. I'm a horrible human, what's but his, in my in fairness, I was 18. I can't say his name. Because in case he doesn't want to let people know, it's super embarrassing. Somebody like, and he, Anyone who has short. a friend that's 5'2 right now is going, <laughs> was that you? He was. And that is, that is short, like, I guess. But I'm short, so it didn't matter to me. But, right. like, yeah, it mattered to him. Right. Yeah. And it mattered. <laughs> So you just left. You didn't say, hey, I, stop talking. Honest to God, I had to come to Jesus in the bathroom, and I was like, you will go out there. You will put your big girl panties on and do it, and just go out there and just, you know, just be a good person. And I chose to not be. To not be. <laughs> because I just, honestly, I couldn't take it. I, I was working, like, three jobs. Already. I was tired. Like, when you choose to go on a date with someone, it's like, I just wanted a meal and to laugh, and, like, that's it. Like, yeah. And this is why I didn't date, because people are, it's, it doesn't end well. <laughs> for them. <laughs> All right. Well, is that uh, worth it? I'm a horrible human, so you're probably not going to give me money. No. For now you <laughs> I will give the money. No, now you owe me. Uh, <laughs> no. I know. No, for for being a terrible human. Have you ever done anything like that? No. Shut up. <laughs> You've never ghosted someone? I've never left somebody on a date. Cuz you're a good human. <laughs> I've never done it ever, like, after that. And I will say I was on a really bad date, like, a decade later, and I stuck it out <laughs> with wine. <laughs> I had a lot to drink. That's why. Yeah, they got better as the evening. That's, beer that's goggles. It, the more you drink, the less it bothers you. you uh, but it is. You're, you're so busy. There. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I took this as my Saturday night. I could have been yeah. like binging on something like not this. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, like Netflix or something. All right. Well, you still get the $10,000. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Go to our website to find out more about Ultra Beauty and help support the cause. We'll be right back. Kelly Clarkson. Our next guest is the original American Idol and a Grammy Award winning superstar. Her new CD, Meaning of Life, is in stores today. Please welcome Kelly Clarkson. Yourself, no, it's hard no. Not to, do you, you sing know. like if you hear your song on the radio? Do oh you my sing God. along to it? On eleven, really? Yeah. 
Like I'm, I still think I'm a ten year old about it. No, but yeah. that you, you, that would be fun to be next to you, listening to you sing a song, your own song. Especially fun or annoying, I don't know. But, <laughs> but I, especially this new song, let's the song, because it's the first single from the first record. I'm really, really excited about because it's my first like team to pick. Like I just got on my idol contract, so I literally it was like it was my first single. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's a new. But what's the biggest difference? Because this is your first uh, album on yeah. Atlantic, right? Yeah. And it's um, I mean, it's still pop, but it's like just soulful pop. It's just a lot more. Definitely a reflection of all the singers I loved yeah. growing up. So yeah. So um, I didn't get to see you backstage. I normally come see you before the show because I, I like to play with yes. your babies. Um, how, is River here? She is. So she's what is good. River into? Um, well, she's really into any time we give attention to to Remy. Oh my gosh, she's so big now too. I know. We keep. I keep telling her you've met her a couple times, and then I said Dory, and she said. Mm. Like, oh. it was like, okay. Ah, yeah. the fish, yes. Yeah. Um, but she's, she's really um, not super into us paying a lot of attention to the, the younger boy, Remy. Yeah. Really? Like, she'll, she'll literally be like, Mommy, watch. And then she'll love on him and be like, and I'm like, you should just love people not to be validated for it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's really weird. Like, Mommy, watch. And working then she on does some that. weird character issues right now, but oh, yeah. Oh, no. And how is Remy? He's so great. I mean, right now he looks like he has, like, rosacea because he's like, Snotty and slimy, but not there. But no, that's yeah. Like right now, if you see him backstage, you're gonna be like, I don't know if I should be near you, because he's got like a lot of redness going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you clean that he's picture. He's so up. Good. cute. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's so cute. He's adorable. They're both adorable. Yeah. Um, so you're now gonna be on The Voice. I am. How is that? Like, so you, American Idol was where we found you. They mustn't be happy about that. <laughs> No, I mean, I had already, okay, here's the thing. Let's keep it real. I thought it was ending, because I, like a year ago, my kids won. I was pregnant with yeah. my son. Like I thought, and they said, oh, well, we'll bring it back. And I thought like five, 10 years, right. you know? Like I didn't know, but I didn't know they meant like the next year. Right. And nope. so I had already been in talks with The Voice. Like one time I wanted to do it and I was pregnant. I couldn't do anything. And then the other time we were touring, there was an option, but but I've been a part of The Voice team just for all, because my husband manages Blake Shelton and, right. and I've been on the show a lot, so. yeah. And I gave them 15 years. Yeah, they have. I was there every season. You've given them enough. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right, so <laughs> let's talk about your new book, River Rose. This is your second book, right? Second in the River Rose series, yes. That's, that's fantastic. Cool. Yeah, it's super fun. It's, it's, it's really cute, too, because she, I think, gets it now. But I think she thinks every kid gets a book. <laughs> yeah. She can grow up like, it's going to be real hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one's not about yeah, me. You're like, yeah. yeah. She's like, what? I don't get this. I'm yeah. not interested. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good, though. Yeah. And it's a little Christmas theme. It's fun. Yeah. Well, Christmas is so, I mean, it's fun in general, but especially when you have little kids that just like love ripping gifts open, regardless yeah. of what the gift is. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. So it's there's Santa and the North Pole. It's like really fun. And then we did a Christmas song with it. Uh, Christmas Eve, yeah. Well, first of all, congratulations. Thank the new you. CD is great. You're great. Uh, this Thank is a new you. book. Everyone in the audience is getting a copy of yeah. Kelly's book. And her CD, Meaning of Life. Look at that. I love our next guest so much. He's a three time Grammy Award winning coach on The Voice who's never at a loss for words. Please welcome the one and only, I love her so much, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Squishy. I, was, I don't know. I'm very. I'm spanked up, girl. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, how do you make this look good? Look, okay, it's all right. You, you look good. You don't okay. have to make it look good. You I'm look trying. really good. You look great. I'm trying. <laughs> you just had a birthday. What did you do for your birthday? I had a very LA birthday. <laughs> What'd you do? It was fun. We. Well, I lost Dr. on the voice, so that was a bummer. Like, so I went out, and. Um, I maybe had a little bit too much. <laughs> and um, I didn't know there was a surprise coming. So there was like a ton of people waiting afterwards. Like my husband, nobody told me there was a dinner or like an escape game plan, like nothing. And so I kind of started, I pre-gamed a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> my pre-game was like far above everyone else's. Because <laughs> you didn't know what was going to happen. Yeah. What do you mean escape game? You did like one of those things where you had to figure out how to get out of a room? Yes. I mean, it was good that I was inebriated. Right. <laughs> Because everything's fun. Because it was too hard or too easy? 
too, like, not, it just wasn't, wasn't fun. You know you love your people a lot. Like, you have good friends when you're in the worst possible, like, oh, God, save me, click your heels three times, but you still love the people you're with. That's yeah. what friends, that's, that's, that's what friends uh, are for. for. <laughs> um, we, that was hard. I was, I was trying. Um, we've tried that before. It's never worked. Uh, we should try it again at the billboards. You should host with me. Uh, I'm going to keep throwing it at no, you. Stop. <laughs> You're gonna be I'm great. I'm terrified. Why? You're gonna because have you're a comedian and you're funny, and you need somebody to play off of. Oh, like I Ellen. see. Get somebody else. God. <laughs> I'm gonna play off myself. You're, you're multiple personalities. You're, uh, are you liking uh, being on The Voice? Because I, I think it. you're fantastic, and you should continue to do it every single season. I, I, I honestly, guys, I know I'm annoying about it, but I love it. Like you know, I, I, I bounce because I have so much energy. Oh, she's. I, I told her when she gets in and she hears one of her people and she gets up and I she guess. just starts dancing yeah. and she just, she <laughs> bounces. I actually she, didn't know I bounced. Yeah, yeah you and bounced. Then, and then they, all these gifts started showing up and I was like, I need to calm down. No, no, <laughs> you shouldn't. You're, yeah. you're really great. But I do get into it. Yeah. Do well, you, you don't realize what camera's on. You don't even realize you're on camera. With the television show. No, no, but you. <laughs> you, you <laughs> Good one. No, you feel like they're watching the performer. Well, no, so, of course that you've seen the show before. They keep it on. No, the... I know, but you don't think about it when you're you're just in the moment, right. like enjoying, like that, being I... blessed with this great talent. Right. Yeah. And that's what that's what's great about it is that's 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 your honest. You get into it and you love it. I love it. Um, and do you think you have the winner? Yes. Do, are you? I just... think I have. I, my, literally, I have two people left. I think both of my people could win. Right. They're both different. One is more like soulful pop and one is country. Right. So, and she's really, Britta is like 14, right? Brit, she just turned 15. She just had a birthday. Crazy. She's yeah. like old soul. It's weird. Yeah. I don't get it. Amazing. Yeah. It's. Um, it really is a good time for you. And you're in People Magazine's Beautiful Issue. Congratulations obviously. on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, I remember my, my husband came in. And he was like, okay, there's an ass. They want you to do people's beautiful. I was like, I, I literally felt like if you've seen Funny Girl, I think it's Fanny is her name, Barbara Streisand's character, when they asked her to be beautiful in this moment. And I am a, be I feel beautiful, but I'm not that person that likes to, I feel awkward. I'm like very comedic about it. I'm like, okay, let's pose. Like, yeah. it's, it feels awkward. So, but then when they mentioned that the kids would be a part of it, I was right. like, oh, beautiful families. Okay. Yes, and they are beautiful. And they are. do you know that I think River recognized me? I was I saw oh, her in the hall, and she she was so sweet. Her voice is so tiny and like soft. A fairy. Yes. Well, but she's authoritative though. Um, she is she. She literally took my sister, who's here for birthday fun week. Um, she took her around your building. As if it were her own today. Really? She showed my sister around. My sister came back and was like, I think she thinks she's like ahead of this building. Like she, she was like, these oh are where the boys are. These are cameras. Uh, these are, like, it was hilarious. She's adorable. Look how precious she is. Yeah. And, and he, Remy, is adorable too. Is he, He's so, oh, does she know. boss him around or what is he like? <laughs> yes. Yes. But we did tell her, we said, girl, He's gonna get older and he's gonna start pushing back and doing stuff. And literally, it was like two weeks later, older happened, and he will full on just punch her. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Like, I don't know what you do. Cause you want him to defend himself, cause she'll just full on wait till your back is turned and then just push him. <laughs> like, she'll push him down and think like we won't figure it out. Like, how is he standing and then now he's on the ground? Like, like but, and, and, but he'll, but it's a fine line of like, stick up for yourself and then like, you know, don't hit people. Yeah. Yeah. But if she knocks him, I'm like, well, you asked for it. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a horrible household. I know. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break, and we come back. Um, I think I'm going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll, we'll be back. <laughs> all right, we're back with Kelly Clarkson, and uh, we, we decided that uh, she would be a great talk show host, and I want her to <laughs> we, be a talk show host. We didn't, but OK. Yes, we did. <laughs> um, and so we thought we would give you, especially because you're so nervous about the Billboard Awards. This is prep. We would give you a desk, and you're going to interview me. Oh. It's your own show. It's the Kelly Clarkson I show. I get a desk? All right. Oh, I'm moving. Yeah. I get a desk! Yeah. <laughs> with a button! With a red button. And you have your own cut. Look, it's the Kelly show. Look oh at that. <laughs> Wait, I wish uh, this I have button, like, if you didn't like a guest, you could push it, and they just <laughs> it yeah. got oh. it or something. I've wished or, like, that down a hole. Many times. You could do that <laughs> if you have your own show. OK, OK. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the Kelly show. Y'all, I am so excited to welcome my first guest. She's the queen of daytime, the queen of kindness, the queen of my life. I love her. She loves to scare people. That part sucks. 
But please welcome Ellen DeGeneres. No, thank you. I have wine. What are you having? I'm having some water. Some water? Water yeah. and wine, we're like Jesus. Water and wine like Jesus. Yes. I have to take a sip to calm down because I'm nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I have a... I don't know much about you. I don't know you at all, Ellen. Um, so <laughs> my first question is, if you had to pick your favorite person that's ever come on this show, who would it be? Oh, God, there's so many people. Are there? Yeah, I mean, there's Pink, um, mm -hmm. there's Alicia Keys, there's, uh, um, God, Scarlett Johansson, there's, uh, I mean, Chris Hemsworth is... is Seriously? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, you. Who is... Good job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who is, no, I love all those people. Um, I'm actually, I think our love of Pink is similar. I love her. I love I her, too. I think she's so rad. Yeah. As a human and a performer. But, okay, so, now, when did you know that you wanted to be... I know you've probably even asked this question, but when did you know that you wanted to be a talk show? Because that's very different from just standing up and doing comedy. Right. right. Um, when they offered it to me, I was like... <laughs> That's a good idea. I was yeah. like, that sounds yeah. like No, fun. no, no. I've always loved, I mean, when I was, uh, you know, growing up as a kid, I loved talk shows. I watched, you know, Johnny Carson, and I watched, you know, the, all the talk shows that were on David Letterman. And so I, I always thought it would be a fun job, but I never thought I would do it and, uh, until I ran out of jobs. <laughs> <And then laughs> okay, Let's before we go, yep. you know my classic bit, you know it, from the Kelly show. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> it's time for... Kelly's karaoke. Oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna press this button, the magical button, and when it lands on a song, we'll sing it together, because we sing beautifully together. We sure do. Yeah. Are we gonna harmonize again? Yes. Okay. Okay, here we yeah. go. Oh, wait. Here we go, okay. Where is it? Oh! Oh, I love that and song. Don't, I will be offended if you don't know this song. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. Okay, okay. When, is it going to start? I guess it'll, okay. it'll start. Our next guest is a three-time Grammy Award winning coach on The Voice. Please welcome the one and only Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> It's so cold. You up. I'm like, I should keep a throw out here. People do it. It's like it. the one day I don't wear Spanx. Like usually I wear Spanx and I'm sweaty and like the one day. Well, you know we yeah. keep it cold here. You know that. I feel like it's colder. No, it's. I feel it's, like this is like Letterman level. Yeah, like, no, it's it's regular like, cold. No. Okay. He would, like feel. Mine's colder. Yeah. Feel. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like it cold. Oh, do you remember yeah. the time we how, were just holding hands? Yeah, remember, remember that time? Let's just do it. Um, the whole interview. Mary, how how cold did they keep it uh, at Letterman? 55. And it what was do we, like a meat locker. We keep it 63 here. Yeah, it's uh, 64 right now. Yeah, comedy oh my is God, cold. This is, like, this is like being in the house with my husband. My no, husband likes it really cold. Me too. I sleep with it at 64 at night. God. Yeah. Congratulations for uh, for the Grammy nomination, Thank by you. the way. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my God, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I yep. love there you go. Now it's oh nice and cozy, right? So many tips I need All to right. learn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Speaking of that, so the last time you were here, I got blankets on my shirt. You're inspiring me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna know, have a fire and blankets. Yeah. <laughs> we, we had a fake fireplace for a while, like I know, one or I two seasons. Your show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, but I didn't even remember that until you just said that. Okay. So, so you have your own talk show now. Yes. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Um, and. You are, you are one of the first that believed in me. Yes, yes. I thought for sure you, you should have a talk first. show. Yeah. Um, you. So now, you did you shoot something already? Did you shoot we the pilot? We did. We did the pilot, and um, I, I was oddly comfortable. Like, good. Oh, good. Yeah. Like, I was kind of terrified. Like, whenever, I remember I was on here, and I was trying to convince you to host the billboards of me um, because I was terrified. But once I did that, I kind of figured out if I led with music, then it made me more comfortable. So each show, we lead with music. Like, I just come down singing, like, just a you know, a minute or so whatever. So they get to hear you sing to start? Well, and I'm like, it's not my own stuff. It's like I'm rocking out to my own, that's a little vain. Um, but uh, I mean, I guess it's vain to be singing in general, but whatever. Um, but um, no, I'm, I, I do it on tour. I like to lift up other artists. You love artists as well. Like yeah. you do that on your show. Um, I just, yeah, I'm going to come down and sing every, and it kind of prepped me. So then by the time I got down, 
to the stage, I was like oddly comfortable. Well, that's good. Well, that's yeah. why I thought you'd be a great talk show host because you are very natural, very comfortable. When you, we see you on The Voice, we see you, and you're you're just really in your own skin, which I think is the yeah. most important thing. Thank you. I do need. Um, to learn, and I have literally been watching, like I've seen your show like tons of it, but I watch all your episodes and Oprah's and everyone's because I'm like, how do I listen? Because <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not, I was not good at listening. Really? I literally had Alex, um, <laughs> um, who's producing the show, I had her literally make a, and draw an airplane on a big giant card and like land it. Because like, I just don't shut up. The airplane? Like, I was like, I just need you to help me land the plane. Like, uh, like if I'm just still going and like, it's like, wow, this is not good. Just get right there in my sight and just land the plane. I see. <laughs> and then I'll be like, we're wrapping it up, okay? Yes. Because I'm a conversationalist, so right. I'm not really good. I like to invest. So this really quick stuff is really hard for me. Yeah. No, yeah. it's definitely important to listen. Yeah. That is one of the biggest things. I know. My husband, my husband probably wishes that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Start with him. Yeah. Practice yeah. with your husband. Yeah. And that would be good for the marriage. Yeah. And then it's pretty good. It it's would be good, good for the show too. Yes. You know? But it is hard though. To yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me because when you know, I started out in comedy, so I if if there's something that someone says, I have a joke right away, but if someone's talking, I have to let that joke go, going, that was a good joke, no, okay. and I just let it go. So I'm not a comedian, but I literally I think because I did See how you just cut me off just now. I know. Right. I know. All right. I know. But no, I'm telling you, I think because I cocktail in a comedy club for like years, I, I, my natural inclinations, are, you know, joke, 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 joke. So I'm, right. it, it is so hard for me to go, like, just interject. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I'm it's, gonna practice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll do well. You, I hope so. It's very, I'm very emotional. You know that. You want to talk? <laughs> I know, I should have probably had a co-host so they could land the plane. <laughs> but Alex is gonna do great. <laughs> yeah. But I like that you just did that. So when you start to talk and you see someone that looks like they wanna talk, that's a good thing to say is, you wanna talk? You wanna and talk? Then... Is this your turn? It's okay. A, it's a good thing for a talk show host to say. You I wanna talk? I know, I think I'm gonna be really good at all the other things, just not that one. Right. But I'm gonna be good. I like to, I like a challenge. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good. You're gonna watch it epically veil and laugh at No. Me. <laughs> no, I am rooting for you. You're my lead in. I want you to I want you to succeed for so many reasons. Oh my god, I love that I get to go before you, yeah. by the way. That's all right, amazing. let's stop talking. Okay. All right, so <laughs> we'll be back with Kelly after this. We're back with Kelly interrupting Clarkson. <laughs> and yeah, that's your middle name now. Oh, Kelly interrupting. <laughs> um, so you won the voice again. I did. I beat <laughs> yes. I was so excited like for Chevelle, but I was kind of like secretly excited I beat Blake with a country artist. Because uh, <laughs> it's never happened. Yeah. Yeah. And we, you know, we're like brother and sister, so like I don't think he likes me, but he has to love me. So, <laughs> like, so I, the, it was really fun. Yeah, I bet he to, likes you a lot. To rub in. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a lot, I, which I understand. I've kind of understood that since I was a kid. So, <laughs> I'm just a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But so I think for other, for especially boys, like yeah. I have tons of female friends, they love this, but like it's, you know, boys can be like, wow, it's a lot. Yeah. But your husband likes you a lot. Yeah, being but a lot. His, his mom is similar to me. Yeah, oh, that's why. Yeah, we're both, yeah, we could have both been on Designing Women, or a lot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about uh, Ugly Dolls. It comes out this May. Yes. It's, it's an animated film. Yes. And it's about? It, well, what's funny is my whole dream was to be in an animated film, every singer, right? But I did think I'd play a princess, so it's pretty funny that mine is Ugly Dolls. <laughs> but which is awesome because when I saw it, I was like, well, what's it about? And it's honestly really cool. It's, um, her name is Moxie, and she's, uh, literally, I'm not acting. Like, it's like me. Like, the character is kind of, it just kind of evolved into me. Is that what happened? Did you kind of make Dory what you wanted? Because Moxie wasn't really, <laughs> Moxie wasn't really, are you want to talk? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good one. <laughs> no, but I brought this to me. This is Moxie. This is yeah. mine. And yeah. she's, she's got Moxie. And she's very positive, which, I mean, we're very similar. So I just didn't want to act. I was like, can we make her like me? Uh, <laughs> like, okay, here's a tip. So when you ask a question, <laughs> you have to like, there's a wait space. For the answer. <laughs> You don't even need to say, do you want to talk? You ask the question I and hate then. space. Yeah. And it's quiet. 
<laughs> and then like, what are they thinking about? Are they all judging me? <laughs> all right, we're gonna watch the, uh, this is the world premiere of the trailer right now. Yes. Let's watch. It's so good, y'all. I bawled. When I saw like what the story was about before I did it, I bawled. I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. It's got hor uh, or heart, it's got great music and a great cast. It's, yeah, yeah, amazing cast, yeah. that's great. All right, you can go to Ellen Tube to exclusively yeah. see the full trailer for Ugly Dolls, which opens May 3rd. We're gonna give away tickets to every show on Kelly's Meaning of Life tour. Go to our website to win. We'll be right back. Kelly Clarkson. Our first guest is a three-time Grammy Award winner and is now the host of The Kelly Clarkson Show. Please welcome the one and only Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> Short. I always get reminded. Hi, Ellen. What do you mean? You're touching the ground? I know, because I'm cheating with these bad boys. Yeah. Yeah. How tall are you? I love that you could just get called by Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. She just called me up. You're just cool. That was sweet. That's probably because I texted her right away when I saw her movie, and she was, she appreciated, maybe, I don't know why she. I maybe, can't wait to see it. It's really good. Man, I can't wait. It, and, and Constance Wu is amazing in it. And yeah. It's, it's really good. It's, awesome. It's fantastic. Um, so, hey, the talk show's doing very well. Congratulations. It's okay. Hey, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of funny because they, this morning everybody told me like, oh, it did this many points or whatever. And I was like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't understand ratings in television world. Right. So You will. Yeah. I yeah. know, but I never, even in music, I never, my husband will tell you he's my manager, I don't ever pay attention to charts either. Right. So I'm just not really that, I'm just going to do me and it'll work or it won't. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the best thing to do. Yeah. That's, you know. Because I also did not pay, at first, of course, the first year I really wanted to do well because I wanted to, to keep it going. After a while, I was like, you know, I know what I'm putting out there, I'm doing my best. And now, 17 years in, I really want to keep topping myself. So ratings are important to me. They weren't, oh but now I want to. Well, I'm trying to be the you know, best opener ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you're I'm trying. You're a great lead in. We are so very happy to have you as a lead in. I, I am, I'm nervous to open for you, but it's fine. Oh, I, I appreciate you <laughs> it's opening. It's going to be for great. Me. I'm not a comedian. When you watch my show, uh, I'm no, not as funny. But uh, you're so, but you're so real and down to earth, and everything is just very natural for you. So I would Thank think. Thank you. And and what is the question? Because I know you have to do a lot of press. What's the question that you're getting asked the most? Oh well, um, why do you have a talk show? <laughs> no, That's not why do you have a talk show. No, it is. They're like, why do you have a talk show? Because everybody's like, well, aren't you working on a record? And I'm like, well, yeah. And they're like, aren't you doing the voice? And I'm like, well, yeah. And 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 I also doing this. Yeah. Why not? I don't know. You gotta matter till you don't, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I love talking, so. You do love talking. I do love talking, you know this. Is that why you wanted to do a talk show? Because you love talking? No, um, really I wanted to do the talk show. My husband ended up convincing me, because I actually said no the first couple times, because um, I was like, everybody's been drinking or getting high, this is a horrible idea. And then uh, he convinced me, because I, I really do love the fact that, there, there's a lot of negativity going on right now. I don't love that, but there's a lot of negativity happening, a lot of division happening. And one of my big things, even on tour, is to like bring people together. Like my audience is filled with random people that would probably never be in the same place. And I want my show to be like that. And he kind of sold me on the fact of all the good we'd be able to do and yep. inclusion and all of that. And so, and I love that about you. So that's why I love that I'm on before you. It is a wonderful thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Put some positivity into the world. Yeah. That's fantastic. A good focus. Nice. And I like, and, and people get a little concert because you start the show singing. Yes, so not my own songs, because that's fame. Right, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, not really. I think people would love to sing along with you to your own songs, just like in concert. I'm sure they love that. We might randomly do that, like at points or something, maybe on Christmas or something, but like, I just feel like a tool, being like, come on guys, sing my hits with me. Um, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna do that. But I love singing other, uh, you love musicians, you love music, yeah. and so do I. And How do you pick the song you're gonna sing? Someone from the audience picks it, and I learn it real fast. Like I'm learning one backstage, because I have a show after this. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Someone from the audience decides yep. the song you're going to sing? Yeah. Yeah. And, and we d we've been doing it on tour for like 15 years. And then we thought, well, I thought, oh, this would be a great idea. Let's do it on the show. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> but, yeah. I, but I love, I genuinely love artists and I love music. I love celebrating art. And, um, and yeah, someone from the audience picks it and they have a reason why they picked it. And so it kind of connects the audience to me right off the bat. And they're kind of a co-host. 
But no, and so what what happens if they pick something that is really difficult? Is it, ha, oh. Have you had a song that's hard to sing? Um, well, it's not necessarily that things are hard. It's just that they shouldn't happen. Um, <laughs> like me covering Eminem was pretty much the move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, which Eminem song but did I you sing? Challenge accepted. I yeah. can't. Um, Eight Mile, the you know. Oh Mom's yeah. Spaghetti. No, no, yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. I it know, was Mom's so spaghetti. bad. But whatever. Challenge accepted. I'll sing anything. Uh -huh. And literally, we've done like country, like. We'll do anything. Yeah. Because yeah. the very first show, I surprised you, and, and you were doing the Jonas Brothers yes. song, I'm a Sucker for You. Yes, I love that and song. And you, you did that very well. Yeah, I was excited to see when a fan picked that one, because I love yeah, that one. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah. All right, so anyway, <laughs> so that's, that's fine. You were surprising me. You were yeah. so nice. You came by. And here's the thing. My audience freaked out to where I, when she left, I was like, come back. They were happier then. <laughs> <laughs> they were so Freaking out! Oh. You were so kind, and you brought me a beautiful painting yeah. that we are hanging in our studio. We what? had one wall. We had one wall for it, and it's that's where. It, yep. But is it on the set or? No, or it's on the set. Is yeah. it backstage? We only had one empty wall. I'm telling you, seriously, everything is filled with like guitars or whatever. All right. And, yeah. I, I and your, your face. I need to see it there every day. Yeah. All right. With with the pooch. <laughs> well, I have something before we go to break. I got you because uh, oh. you're very very busy. So let's go over here. Okay. And I'll show you what I got you. Okay. Bring it I'm out. I'm gonna follow you. All right. It's a chair okay. because you're a, a, a talk show okay. host. Okay. And, and you're on The Voice. Your hands are cold, too. Uh, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> All right, so what happens is when you push this, um, someone Something backstage. Something happens. Yeah, somebody backstage <laughs> oh! should do that. Yes. Uh, and, then, and then, so that's The Voice. So we'll take it. Yeah, and then when you're in the studio, you can, you can sing. I am recording a record. Yeah, and you record. So you can use this during exactly. the commercial break. Exactly. And, and do that. Kill three birds with one yeah. stone. Well, that's a horrible expression, but yes. Yes. All right. Yeah. I love birds. I'm yes. just kidding. Right. We have bird feeders at my house and everything. All right, whatever. <laughs> um, all right, we're going to take a break. Back with Kelly Clarkson. Today. All right, we're back with Kelly Clarkson. She has a new talk show, and we wanted to see how quick she is on her feet and how well she knows the people she might be interviewing this year. So it's time to play so okay. you're going to see someone, and okay. you're going to say who they are and whatever you would ask them real quick. Just a quick question of an interview, and then mm -hmm. hit that. It'll move on. OK. First one. OK. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Oh, I would ask him um, to write me a song. Honestly, that's probably what I do. Right. I, I love his writing. All right. I think he's so talented. All right, and I ask him where enough, the troll enough. Enough. came. Yep. And then, oh, he's good looking. Um, that's Thor. Uh, that's Chris Hemsworth. And I would just ask to come to the next superhero movie preview. And this is all about me. Hmm. That's what my show is about, apparently. No, um, I would ask him if there was anybody else up for Thor, just him. OK, yep. And then uh, that's Drake. And I would. I would probably ask him, like, are you high when you record every other song? Because <laughs> they're so chill. And I thought, maybe he's just getting high. OK. Um, Jennifer Lopez, I would ask how on earth she gets that body at, at any age and like still maintains it. I hate her. Uh, um, I, oh, Miley Cyrus. Um, I, I'm excited, actually. She has a new CD coming out. So I'd ask her about her new music and her new, her new life and everything. OK. And then I, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I know this one. She's a princess. Meghan Markle. <laughs> Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle. Oh, she was on Suits. Actually, I love Suits. I don't know why she doesn't look like a Meghan to me. Maybe I'll ask her about that. Um, but I would ask, like, what are the stresses of being a princess? That's what I would ask. OK, Blake Shelton, why do you hate me? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm so nice. <laughs> Um, oh, Ariana Grande, girl can sing. I would probably ask her to sing with me, first of all. And then I would ask her how she keeps up with her schedule. She's got a crazy schedule. All, all right, the Kelly Carson Show airs weekdays on NBC. We'll be right back. That's Woo! Oh, it's we're back trip. with Kelly Clarkson. I thought we were done, but somehow. <laughs> you can't she, get rid of me. No, she felt like there was something else. I will else. find you. Uh, <laughs> like that movie? <laughs> <laughs> the Wedding Crashers? Anyway. Um, no, I was going to leave, and then I thought it would be rude of me not to maybe bring somebody in your audience something because you brought <laughs> gifts to my audience. I did. You did. And I thought that was very fun. So I actually, I, I actually recently became the godmother of a Norwegian cruise line called Encore. And so I called them up and I was like, can I give a cruise away to somebody, like a lucky person in the audience? And I know you're all putting your hands up, but here's the really rad thing. They answered me with, well, why don't you give everybody a seven day cruise? <laughs> 